My name is Zan Ta, and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the door and window tags in the Revit software. <clears throat> Here I am in a Revit project where I have some walls. When I go to place a door or a window, there is a modify place tab contextual, uh, place door contextual tab. There is a tag on placement command that is on by default. If you click it and it is not highlighted, then that feature is turned off. Let's leave it on for now. When I go to my door, the tag shows up automatically. In the options toolbar, I can specify that whether the tag that I'm placing is horizontal or vertical. If I don't have the tag, I can click tags and load additional tags by going to the annotate subfolder or the respective subdiscipline. I also have the ability in the options toolbar to specify whether there is a leader or no leader. As I place the second one, I have a leader that's there. If I select the annotation, I can change that leader from an attached end to a free end. If it's an attached end, it allows me to move, move the shoulder, but the point where it's selecting and touching the door remains attached. If I switch this to free end, I have a cell at the end where it doesn't even have to touch the door. When you're placing the door or windows, if tag on placement is not turned on, those tags don't show up. If I place a window, my tags show up because tag on placement is on, and again, if it's off, I don't see it. If we have tags that we need to place that are not there, we can go to the annotate tab of the ribbon and click tag by category. We can specify whether we want a leader again or not, and we can just select the door and get tag. We also have the ability to delete all the tags and under annotate tab use tag all not tag command and in here we can specify doors and windows and hit OK and they get tagged. Now when we look at the door tags they are sequential 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth whereas the numbers are single or windows are just showing one. What's happening is that if we look at the doors there's a mark here. <clears throat> door tags are tagged by instance and that's where that information is coming from. However windows are tagged by type. So if we go to the type properties of the window and scroll down, you'll see type mark. And if we change this to W1, then all the windows will change in this respect. So this is how you place doors and windows and work with the tags for the doors and windows. Again, thanks for watching my screencast. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.